This quick video is intended to show you how to create a digital signature, which you'll need in a lot of the new finance forms as well as the employee evaluation form. Um, this form I have open is just a simple test form that we're working on um, with a digital signature field at the bottom. To put a digital signature in, it's quite easy when you're filling out the form. You simply click on the field and it will prompt you for your digital signature. Now, if you already have a digital signature set up, um, you'll pick the file and then you'll you'll know how to do it already. If you don't have one, um, you'll have to set one up. And the way you do that is by clicking on this option. You want to um, sign this document using a new digital ID I want to create now. So I'll click there and I'll click on Next. You have two options. The one you should choose, the easiest one to deal with, is this first one, a new PKCS number 12 digital ID file. Um, I don't really even know what that means, but that's how we've done this in the past, and it works well with Adobe. Um, you fill it out. You can you just put in your um, your information. Some of this may may come in automatically from your Windows setup. Um, you shouldn't really have to change any of the options down here, and click Next. And then finally, you just need to um, to save your file somewhere. Now, it'll prompt you to save it um, within some existing file structure, but you can move this by to somewhere else on your computer if you wish by using this Browse button. And then finally, you have to insert a password. So I'll do that now. And then repeat that password again. And say Finish. So as simple as that. I now have a digital signature set up. So this is what will appear um, when you click from now on. You, you, it'll ask you what identity you want to sign, is, sign as, and if you have more than one, you can pull this down and pick from your identities or set up a new one. And I'll pick this one here. And then it just asks you to enter the password for your digital signature, which is the password you just set up. So let me type that in. Okay. And, and that's done, and now I can click on Sign. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to save your save the, your signed file somewhere. Um, so I'll, I'll for now I'll just pick my desktop, and I'll I'll just call this um, signed form, and I'll click on Save. So now I've saved my PDF, and you can see that um, this field is no longer editable. Um, and if I scroll up in the form, there are a lot of fields here that now are locked from being edited. So now, permanently, this PDF form has the, 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 the information I've entered into it is locked forever. Um, and then I can, I can move on with the next steps of whatever, whatever the next steps are in the form, which will generally be a submit button or something similar to that. So that's how you set up a digital signature. Um, it's fairly quick and, and hopefully fairly easy. But if you have any questions, um, you can contact the IT department. Um, um, anyone in finance should be able to help you as well, uh, anyone in HR as well. And if they can't, they can direct you to someone who, who can.